Now back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. We're the mighty Are we back? I'll tell you yes, what, we got, we got so much going on this morning that I, I'm not sure if I'm here or there. But uh, well, i like to have a shout-out for the TWRA, Larry. There's so many youth programs they do. I, I miss the toys because of, of my wife's uh, doctor's appointment. Yeah. But they do so many things. We, uh, all our guys volunteered for the uh, archery in the school system thing. And also the Scholastic Clays, they do that too. But it's, it's just amazing the things they do for kids. And plus there's a lot of scholarships involved in all these shooting events. There is that. And you got on your NASP shirt there. I can see it. Yeah, 2015 World Tournament. Uh, that was in Nashville last weekend, but there was a big event uh, uh, early this month up at Sparta, Illinois, and I told you a little bit about that when they had uh, 2,466 athletes uh, faced over 82, uh, 872,000 uh, t- clay targets. And uh, we've got on the line right now with us Bill Neese. Is Bill on with us? Bill, you there? I'm here. I'm here. Hey, Bill, we appreciate you being on Outdoors with Larry Ray this early on a saturday morning i appreciate you uh contacting me and letting me know uh, i've been amazed at the information i've been able to compile uh, about it and bill is the coach for the henry county no fly zone of tennessee and they claimed i i can't you, you won so many awards i can't keep up with them up there but uh tell our listeners a little bit about the accomplishment uh, that your team did up at sparta yeah, well, we had a we had a good bout at Sparta. This is uh, we've been at it five years in skeet. Uh, we have uh, five different age groups, and and we took uh, we took the uh, varsity uh, national championship. Wow. We took the junior varsity second. We took the intermediate advanced national championship. Uh, we took the rookie second place. <laughs> uh, we had um, the top lady shooter in the whole thing. She shot a. Two ninety sevens back to back for uh, pretty good. Uh, that's uh, I think that's that's more than pretty good. Yeah. 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 Uh, she shot that. We had the top intermediate advanced shooter, uh, individual champion, and uh, Tennessee did well all together. Yeah. Because uh, our neighbors Haywood County, out of the top five, uh, Haywood County and Henry County together held two each. Wow. Uh, it's just uh, so, amazing. So. And, and, Bill, if I'm not mistaken, you told me that uh, uh, Tennessee had about almost about a third of the people up there. Our state is really, this, uh, this is, as Lance Ryder uh, would say from the TWRA, we're busting at the seams. We are, and, and Tennessee and TWRA does a great job supporting this, and, uh, and, and they run a smooth show. We're real proud of it. As a matter of fact, we won the, uh, the intermediate advance, uh, in, a, in a squad shooting at the same time, it was very interesting. Guess where the second place team was? They were from Clarksville, Tennessee. Clarksville, Middle Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. And Bill, I know your your program. The uh, I love the name. I don't know how, how'd y'all come up with that name. No fly zone. I love that name. I have to ask you that. Our attorney general at the time, uh, Hansel McAdams, came uh-huh. up with that name. I oh, believe, I'm... and that's about the time the Iraq thing and. We just thought we're not going to let Target fly over our job. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a wonderful name. It's easy to uh, easy to remember and everything. Again, we're talking to Bill Neese. He's the coach for the uh, Henry County No Fly Zone uh, program. It, and, and I know Bill, when you started this, you kind of started at ground level, so to speak, didn't you, your program? <clears throat> well, the, the ski part was. Now, I want to say now, Drew Drew Williams is our head coach, and he oversees the organization. He also coaches our rookies. So he had a championship team too. Yeah, uh, and we have a trap division. I just don't know much about that. Yeah, no, they, you're the skeet man, though. Bill is uh, a, a lawyer, longtime lawyer up in the Henry County area, but all, you're an avid skeet shooter, and so uh, they ask you to come on and do this. And uh, 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 is it blown your mind? Uh, what's uh, what's it happened? Has. It has. We started with a bunch of ragged little rookies. Yeah, um, and I didn't think they'd ever hit anything. That, but uh, by the time we got to state, they won it that year. My goodness! And yeah. Since, since that five years, we've had four national champions. We've had uh, four uh, second place runners up. Several individual highs. Uh, we've we've got more. I can't even keep up with the state championships these kids have won. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm so proud of them. I, 
you know, and we got such good parental support, PWRA support. Our head coach is outstanding, and you know, it's just it's just great. Well, when I look at this uh, and see some of the accomplishments and know uh, what you guys have done up there, and I, I really like. Uh, uh, Bill gave me a quote here. I've, I've been very impressed with the sportsmanship and honesty these kids display, like calling a broken target on the other team when the official called it lost. Uh, that stands a lot because integrity, ethics, uh, th- there's a lot of things that go into the to the program, right? You teach these Amen. kids that. I hope we are because skill means nothing if the other's not there. That's right, yeah. I, I, like, that, I, I like that motto. Right we have a, a competitive and great relationship with the Haywood County guys. And, uh, you know, these, these kids get up there and it, it, they cheer each other on. They try to beat the other ones and good, healthy competition. Well, I know Rad Ellington, the coach at Haywood County, uh, I know his guys have uh, were very successful up there too. And uh, to know the Haywood County young guns, uh, yeah. the, the, what they have accomplished uh, – Tell, our, tell my yeah, tell my listeners a little bit of what the experience is up there in Sparta with that many shooters and everything that's going on. It's overwhelming. You need to understand there's three and a half miles of uh, contiguous skeet and trap range. <laughs> three and a half miles. Three and a half miles, and they say that, but I drove along the parking lot just to find out. So um, you did. Now you sound like a lawyer. Then you're going to make sure that's right. No, right? I didn't believe it. Yeah. So it's great. These people shoot. Uh, you know, it's just one right after the other. It's been better organized some years than others. This year it was real slick, and and things went right along. Uh, it's it's fascinating at the ward night to see the whole bleachers. I yeah. tried to get a picture of that, but the whole bleachers they are loaded with people and the the sport. Sporting class people in their four wheelers sitting around and yeah. Tennessee flags and they're up to all kinds of state flags flying, and these kids get some recognition. Well, does does it still uh, give you some goosebumps too? I guess you got to get kind of uh, uh, emotional to see these oh, kids. Yeah, it, it's something else. You know, they had me running out. They gave away the awards, uh, the blue ribbon for. I had to run out there with the team for intermediate, and then I, got, I didn't get through pictures. I had to run back for the junior varsity second and then for the varsity first. And there's Red Ellington's boys there, uh, junior varsity first. And, yeah. Uh, so on down, and, and uh, varsity second. And, and we're all, all these Tennessee boys out there. And it, it, was a, it was a big night, I'll you've, tell you that. You've got a, real, a pretty good place to practice up here at Henry County, don't you? Outstanding. The Holly Fork is a PWRA sponsored deal. Uh, we got four fields, and uh, we keep them full. And we really keep this. It's, I can't. It's hard for me to get extra practice <laughs> during yeah. the season. Well, what? But uh, the recognition does the, does the town, does the county know what you guys have accomplished? I mean, you no. Know, yeah. No, our local paper won't run anything. Uh, as a, <laughs> we'll turn something in that will, but uh, we get good radio coverage, and that's about it. I'm. Well, I think that the I'm state. I'm pleased for some recognition for these boys and well, girls. Well, I appreciate we got a lot of girl shooters. You do that. I, I appreciate you uh, letting me know because, uh, uh, and I've I've researched a lot of this, and I've written something for the Commercial Appeal. Would be in tomorrow's newspaper here. Uh, I hope I got most of the names right. If I didn't, it's I just I tried. Uh, well, because, that's that's great, and uh, and I'm proud of our Tennessee program. I'm proud of TWRA, and I'm. Proud of these kids, mostly, and their parents. My their goodness. parents, yeah, 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 and their grandparents. Because I have to let you know, Bill. You know, I've got to say this: that there's yeah. a, that there's a, you have a player on your team named Orr, and absolutely, uh, yes. Yeah. And I, Caleb Orr, you folks out there have already heard about this one because we had Brenda Valentine on the show a couple of weeks ago, and I couldn't get her off. I, I said, Brenda, I want to talk about something else. You know, I want to talk about my grandson. Okay. Uh, but well, let me tell you about this. I, th- that's the first little squad of rookies I started. Uh-huh. It went on to the state championship. They've had another state championship. Last year, they were the national junior varsity, and this year, they're the national varsity champs. And you think I'm not – those boys, I'm uh, – uh-huh. people say, why do you do this? They're, you don't even have a kid in it. And uh, what I tell them is, yeah, I do. They're all my kids. Amen. They're all <laughs> your kids. That's exactly right. Well, Bill Neese, <laughs> thank you again, buddy, for uh, visiting with us this morning. Uh, again, uh, you keep in touch with me and let me know what's going on. Uh, we're going to post all these photographs that Bill took. It's on lroutdoors.com. 
I'll try to get as much of the, all the photographs that Bill took because we got some I great didn't take pictures. Them. I was coaching. Well, whoever took <laughs> the them, parents took them. Well, yeah. you, you got them yeah. to us, and, and we're going to post them on my website uh, because they're wonderful pictures of uh, uh, all the stuff that's happening up there. And Bill, thank you for being a volunteer. I know you got a full time job and everything like that, but uh, we we need people like you involved in the sport. And uh, God bless you, buddy. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Keep up the good work. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. We're going to take a break. We were trying to hook up a Lance Ryder, but he may not be able to get a uh, signal <laughs> yeah. in Big Sandy up there and everything. We're going to talk a lot more about all this and everything. Drew Williams. See, I, he's the coach, but Bill is the ski coach. It's a whole bunch of deals up there. All right. Let's take a break on Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Gene Smith in-house. By Memphis, Tennessee We've got woodlands, fields and water Hey, there is 